Later this year, you can take another stab at intergalactic bounty hunting in High on Life's first expansion, High on Knife. And here to tell us all about it is Mikey Spano and Eric Meyer of Squatch Games. Looking sharp, guys. See what I did there? I said looking sharp. Thank you. You're yeah. also looking like beautiful. A I, I try. Thank you so much, Mikey. I appreciate it. Flattery will get you everywhere with me. Uh, now, so the game is called High on Knife. Uh, is it safe to assume that it will focus on knifey? Pretty yeah. safe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Is that a little bit on the tip of the... Of the, of the yeah, keep going. Close. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going to stop it with the knife yeah, punch. Why don't you uh, tell us the whole... I want to hear your... No, 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 no. I want you all to tell me. So tell us, what, what can fans expect uh, from this, uh, this DLC, this expansion? Yeah, I think definitely they can expect a lot of knifey. Uh, mm -hmm. In the first game, we had knifey in there. He was one of the fan favorites, but we didn't really build that much on his backstory. So with this DLC, we want to take that opportunity to kind of show, like... Where does Knifey come from? What does Knifey care about? Like, what are his goals? And I think with this DLC, we have a good opportunity to show everybody that. Now, yeah, now with the, with the first trailer that we saw, it kind of had like some very dark tones, almost like, like horror elements to it. De des describe that for, for fans. Like, are we gonna get like a more darker tone? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the first game had some dark moments in it, but this one, we decided that we really wanted to like play up some of like, like horror and comedy together. Um, and about halfway through the DLC, it gets pretty dark. It's, you know, lots of jump scares, lots of, uh, well, I think we described it as body horror things. Like, it gets pretty weird. But still in our, in our style, right? In our kind of jokey but kind of strange style. Yeah. Yeah, so, so when you say body horror uh, elements, like, can, can you go more in depth about that? Because I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, what are some of the, the elements uh, fans can expect? Uh, body horror, uh, <laughs> obviously. Uh, lots of knifey. Um, are there going to be like new techniques like 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 just go more in depth about that sure sure Yeah, so we have I mean you can see in the trailer here uh, You can see some disgusting bodies walking yeah. around uh, <laughs> Lots of butts. Yeah, Lots of butts, if so, you're afraid of butts. <laughs> in terms of body horror I think fans will kind of figure out that it's pretty literal when we say it's body <laughs> horror uh, When they play the game, they'll realize kind of why why we're calling it that uh, I don't want to give too much away right now, but um, once people play, they'll definitely figure it out. Uh, in terms of new moves, we've got um, new traversal moves. We've got new combat moves. We've got Knife two new guns. I've just got new moves. I, we're revealing the chainsaw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're revealing the yeah. chainsaw. Finally. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, a big, you know, all the other guns got upgrades and mods and things, and this one we want to treat Knifey with the same respect. So he's going to get a really awesome uh, upgrade in the form of a chainsaw. Yeah, the, uh, re the respect that he deserves. I, I, he deserves exactly. 100. percent He commands. Yeah. We're huge Michael Cusack fans. Michael Cusack, yeah. we love you. Oh, Michael yeah. Cusack is amazing. We had him on the stage last year. Oh, he's hilarious. Yeah. Um, so. Let's talk more about like the various different weapons. Like there's obviously there's going to be some new weapons. Uh, so I'm kind of curious, can you go in, into some detail about what type of weapons we can expect? Also, some of the voice actors you, you tapped uh, for, for this. Sure, yeah. Uh, so we have Harper. She's a new gun. Um, she's sort of ex-military, but super bubbly and just kind of weird. Uh, and that she's voiced by Sarah Sherman from Saturday Night Live. I'm sure people have seen her. Yes. She's really funny, yeah. super, super easy to work with. Um, we also have a gun called Ball, which is the one that kind of is pinball themed with the three little guys that sit on it, kind of Three Stooges meets World War II bomber crew. <laughs> Um, and they're voiced by Alec Robbins. And it's our first gun. We want to dive more into like other sentient weapons, right beyond just the Gatlians. Uh, you know, so they're, the, they're our first gun that's actually kind of a mix of like other little aliens plus actual technology. Uh, and they're just hanging out there, just like they actually speak in kind of like a simlish, like gibberish voice. So you can play through the whole, if you're, if you're tired of all the jokes, you can just play through and they'll talk the whole time in their little gibberish voice, uh, which is pretty funny. Yeah, it's a nice break for people who are uh, tired of hearing all the guns talking. There's, there's no, if you're tired of hearing the guns talk, you're playing a wrong game. I, I, I don't know. Thank like, you. It is what's on sale, right? That, yeah, that yes. is the charm of, yes. of this game. I love game. it. They're your squad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, like, uh, my, my favorite is hearing um, uh, is that one YouTuber. Is it Psychic Pebbles? Yeah, yeah, Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear, hear, hear this oh, voice. Great. Hear this oh, voice. My God, yeah. I love it's Zach. just amazing yeah. to me. He's amazing. It was actually a big shame that we couldn't find the right character for him for DLC, but Zach is a big part of the future. Whether he knows it or not, we want him <laughs> in all the future stuff. Yeah, we love his voice. Yeah. Uh, the good thing about this one, too, is, you know, we swap guns, you know, you can swap guns and get different lines, but with Knifey, he's always around. Like, yeah. that's, in this DLC, we, we use him, like, he pops up and talks to you a lot more. 
Now, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, PS5 port? Ooh, you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's out right now. Oh. Yeah, the, the internet might have spoiled it a little bit, but yeah. the truth is it is out right now. Yeah, we yeah. wanted to drop a little, like, just surprise drop on the <laughs> PS4 version for everybody. It's freaking amazing. Right here. Yeah. It's yeah. Exactly. Comic-Con yeah. on exclusive. IGN Live. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all so much. Yeah. I got the exclusive. Yeah. Just for you. Did, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. tell anyone. And, and it's I, on PS4, I, I, too. <laughs> <laughs> Double exclusive. Okay, I got to know this, though, because, uh, you know, uh, I, I love Knifey. Knifey was one of my favorite weapon slash characters in the game. Uh, so where in the overall timeline does this take place? And will there be like, like, like back flashes to his, uh, to his, his, his older life? Before, I'm, I almost went into like an Australian accent. I apologize. I just, <laughs> I love Knifey so much. I, I don't know. That might offend some people. I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, thank you. I should stop doing voices. I, I am horrible at voices, even my own. This is a terrible voice I'm doing. But. Yeah, yours is beautiful. Yeah. But no, no, t tell us, where in the timeline does this take place? So this takes place a few years after the events from the first game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's very current, it's happening now. There's no flashbacks or anything, uh, and it's very knifey centric He's sort of driving the plot from start to finish. Yeah, you'll get to see some characters that relate to him, especially near the ending of the DLC. Um, and then, yeah, it being two years ahead, we actually kind of are using that to make some fun storytelling that you can kind of explore around and find out about what's happened in those two years and where some of the characters are, what you've been up to in those two years. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm super excited to play this. Mikey, Eric, I want to thank you both so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, this was so freaking phenomenal. Oh, can I say one thing? Yeah, of course. Look at this shirt. IGN oh, yeah, store. This one too. Look We've at got this. the High on Life merch. IGN, I don't know what the exact URL is. Get it right is, now. Get, get, it on, get it in our store, the IGN store. The link is yeah. going to be in the description right now. Actually, we have mods uh, in, in the live chat right now. They're going to drop the link to it. Y'all should check it out. Can I get that off your back? No, 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 don't do it. We don't, that's too much skin. Uh, th too much skin. But thank you both so much for joining me. Uh, now, the full PS5 trailer uh, is on IGN right now. High on Knife is hitting Xbox and PC this fall, but to hold you off until then, we've got plenty of Comic-Con to stab you with, but like in a, in a fun way, not like in a death way. We're not trying to hurt you or kill you. It's supposed to be fun here, you know, so just stick around. That's in the script.